So I don't know where I want to play and I don't know where I will play. But I know like I want to be able to provide to my family and like live good off basketball. I want this to be like my, my future life. All right, well, um, so you're from Sweden. You're a baller from there. How did you even get into basketball being from there? For me, it's a family thing, you know, because my, my parents and even my brother play basketball. So before I was like a soccer, I was a soccer guy. But then they, they like, they told me to start playing basketball. And since the first practice, I just like, I fell in love with it, you know? So I just like, kept on going from there and that's it. Soccer is a big thing in Sweden, right? Yeah, yeah. So would you say like, you were like the, the outcast to like um, your friends and like your family? For sure, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I was like the only one in my friend group growing up. I was the only one playing basketball. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say I was outcast. For sure. How is how is that like, you know, um, to try to like take basketball seriously and then, you know, everyone else isn't, you know. To be honest, when I was younger, people people were like laugh at me, you know, because basketball, they thought it was like a, like nothing, you know, they didn't care about it. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't tough, but it was annoying for sure because people didn't understand what basketball really was, you know? But it was, it was not hard for me, no, for, at all, you know? Uh, what, what did you keep telling yourself, you know, to stay focused and, and like, get this far? Mm, to be honest, I just liked it so much. Like, I just, like, appreciated playing basketball a lot, you know? So for me, it was just, like, my love for the game. I just kept on going, you know? Like, watching games and watching my brother. And everything like this and even my, my dad being my coach it was even more you know like we had so, so much in common mm -hmm. with the basketball club so what kind of struggles did would you really say you had um growing up in sweden first of all i would say like the basketball was my biggest struggle because basketball is not a big thing like many many years growing up i didn't have a team like i was playing pickup like with my my friends like two and two and so like this that's what i was like that's my work i was you know so I would say that was my biggest struggle. Otherwise, not really anything. I had a great childhood, you know, I was really blessed as a, as a kid. So, yeah. Obviously, um, you play with Alex into the Kumpo, um, Giannis's little brother. Uh, yeah. Can you kind of touch on like how that was like, you know, when you first met him and you're like, oh snap, like this is Giannis's brother. Yeah. To, to be honest, at first I was kind of sore, okay? I was like really shy. I didn't know like what to do, but in the end, like Alex is a really down to earth guy. He's really humble. Like you can't even notice that he is what he is. You know, he's really humble, down to earth. He's like, like, like one of the group. You know. Yeah. Would you ever want to team up with him in the NBA? Oh, sure. Or go up sure. against him? Sure. I, I want to play against him or play with him. I, I think someday we will. Mm -hmm. I think someday it will be great. If you had to choose one, which one would it be? Oh, uh, I, I would want to team up against him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our team up, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I think we play good together. Like we like uh, accomplish each other good, or how how's it called? Uh, Complement each other. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Can you kind of describe like that chemistry, like on the court? Uh, I think it started off the court because we, we we became kind of close off the court because we were like the only ones like speaking like fluent English in the beginning, at least. And we were like the young kids in the in the ACB team in the first league like uh, practice group, so we like stuck together by that. Mm -hmm. And then also he's more like hustle player. He plays more energy, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I'm more like a like I shoot, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I think we we play we play good together by that, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect fit. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. It, it was really good. It's really good. Who was your favorite player growing up in life? For me, it's always been LeBron James because I, I was always like a. Like a heat fan, so that was like cool, real good. Cool. And I always also really like Dirk, Dirk Nitsky. Mm -hmm. I like how he played a lot, like his fadeaways and all that shit. Was, was, really was he like um, a big idol growing up in Sweden? Like, was he a big thing, or like you just, you know, just I, liked how he played and really took that research on for yourself? Yeah, for me, he was because he came from Europe and he was like, like nobody knew about him when he came to the league, and then he just proved everyone wrong, you know? So that's like, that's kind of how I felt growing up, because where I came from, basketball was nothing, so no one really knew about me until I started playing with the national teams and stuff. So I think that's like a reason too. Are you still thinking, or were you ever thinking of coming to America to play in the NCAA or perhaps high school? It's always been a dream of mine for sure, but since I I, I got contacted by the team in Rome I played for, 
-hmm. it was like it was, and also the school it was very I had like difficulty with school so then it was like I don't think I'm able to right now both sides are really good but I think for me I would say you the European style fits me fits me a bit better like with all the set plays and everything like this I think I think it's better for me like as a player so what is your ultimate goal with the national team for Sweden uh, I think the generation that's coming up is really good. You, you know about Bobby Clintman? Mm -mm. He's going to Sunrise Academy next year. Sunrise Academy? Yeah, okay. like we have we have some some really some really good ones like uh, in, in my age. Yeah. So I think I think with this team we we can like do something maybe in the European or maybe like if we're lucky if we have a real good team like qualify for the Olympics even you know so, stuff like that. I would love that. How come like this like this is a resurgence for Sweden basketball out of nowhere? I feel like it's just your generation that's like really trying to come in and change things. Yeah, because I, I feel like the basketball in Sweden recently has has changed. Before it was more like, like it wasn't a big thing. It's becoming bigger and more serious for sure because more and more players are going like to Spain or to, to the US to play. So I, I think that's why like more players are developing and going like outside of Sweden to, to play. Wow. Do you kind of feel at times that, well, since you started, it was like nobody played but now that you're playing, like you're inspiring the youth in your country, you kind of feel like it's somewhat of like your duty to um, make sure that you play good, to make sure that the people in your country know like, oh man, like if he's doing it, I can do it too. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I feel like when I play, I kind of have like a ship on my shoulders, if, if I say like that, because I want to show the people like it's actually like possible, you know, to, to be a Swedish basketball player and actually like be successful, you know? Yeah. So yeah, for sure, I, I feel like that. Is that more motivation for you or kind of more yeah. passion? For sure. I, I think it's more motivation, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. well, I know you do watch football, so would you say that bicycle kick that Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Sweden-born player, of course, that bicycle kick he had against England was the yeah. best goal ever? For sure, for, for yeah. sure, yeah. It was the best goal I've ever seen, at least. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for sure, it was crazy, yeah? Crazy. Right. Uh, would you say, um? He's the best player ever born in Sweden. For me, yeah. I always tell people that he's the best ever. Like he's the best in the world. That's what I think. Mm. People laugh at me, yeah. but that, that's my that's my opinion, you know? Like yeah. a hot take. You know? He never ages. Never ages. He, he keeps going, like on a high level. Like now he's in Milan, one of the best clubs in, in Europe, he keeps going, you know? He's like the LeBron of soccer, I would say. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. In regards to your career, um, what is your goal in that? In my career, um, actually, I don't have like a specific goal. I don't know where I want to play and I don't know where I will play. But I know like I want to be able to to provide to my family and like live good of basketball, you know? I want this to be like my, my future life. For sure. And then where I will play and, and uh, all that shit, like I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So Of course, NBA is, a, is the biggest goal, you know? Mm -hmm. If I get to it, I don't know, but you know? It's like very uncommon for a Swedish player to go to the NBA. So I feel like that would be like a big, really big accomplishment for me. Yeah, like stuff like that. Some, some countries only get 10 and then like people still don't know about those countries. So like, just by facing like, school. Yeah. yeah. It's like crazy, yeah? Yeah. I don't crazy. Even... Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we'll see though, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. You gotta keep working. <laughs>